Hi, I'm Dr. Elliot Adam from ElliotOracle.com. I'm also the author of the award-winning Fearless Tarot and Tarot in Love, Consulting the Cards and Matters of the Heart. And it is time for this week's Oracle Reveal. So yesterday on my social media, I placed up a photo of three different animals, and I asked you to use your intuition and just ask yourself which animal seems to be calling to you, because that animal has your message. And the three animals were the fox, the firefly, and the frog. So if you're just joining me now, ask yourself which animal seems to be getting uh, getting caught in your head because that animal has your message. So for those of you who picked the fox, you know, fox is known for its cunning, its intelligence. Uh, fox can be an animal archetype that could be uh, calling you to outwit your obstacles, to think smarter and not work harder. And by the way, I'm using the Everyday Witches Familiar Oracle by Deborah Blake. Um, and uh, first card for Fox is where it's best for you to place your focus this next week. And we get the Four of Swords. Now, the Four of Swords is a card of rest, solitude, exile, retreat, but it's also a card of quiet and calm. And I just kind of feel, you know, like that saying, a calm mind is a powerful mind. I feel like you aren't going to outwit your obstacles this next week if you're stressed, if you're mad, if you're scared, if you're all worked up about things. But instead, it might be a time to remember to breathe. Like just right now, just drop your shoulders, unclench your jaw, take a nice deep breath, let go of all that stress of the day, and watch how your mind gets clearer and solutions start to bubble to the surface. The next card is going to be advice from your inner wisdom if you pick the fox, and we get the three of wands. And I love the three of wands because it's a card of perspective. The three of wands will tell you that despite your worst fears about a future that hasn't happened yet, the future is wide open and waiting. It is just completely open to you and the choices that you're making. And sometimes the most disempowering thing that we can all do is project ourselves way further into the future that we don't have control over or we don't know what's going to come. And that can just drive us crazy. And so it's so important right now that you're breathing, that you're calm, and that you're remembering that your power, the place where your power is right now, is in the present. It's not in the future that hasn't happened yet. But also that three of wands is a card of possibility. And it could indicate that it's time to think positively or constructively about, well, what can I do about things? Or where can I shift my own energy toward empowerment? There are tons of possibilities ahead for you. And the mythic archetype that's going to help you, and I'm using the uh, Oracle of the Celestial Deities by my friend Latao Wang. Uh, the mythic archetype that's going to help you is actually Medusa. And I've talked about Medusa on the Oracle Reveal before, but Medusa is that uh, Greek gorgon who, when you look at her directly, she can turn you to st uh, stone if you look into her eyes. And so the only way you can survive Medusa is by looking at her reflection, not looking directly at her. And what Medusa can represent is the fears that we all harbor, the things that go on internally for us that if we look too rawly or too directly at them, they paralyze us, they petrify us, they turn us to stone. And the trick with this is, again, to find a way to look at the mirror of the image that you're struggling with. And I find that a great mirror for facing inner shadows or fears is tarot cards, is uh, a tool that you're kind of looking at your life, you're looking at its reflection. It's a little less raw, it's a little less scary when you're dealing with something that's a bit of a buffer between you and the issue at hand. And yet I do feel with Medusa that it's important for you to be brave and to confront uh, the thing that's haunting you from within. And so I just kind of feel like this is a time to watch out for fears, uh, getting the better of you, to stay calm, and to know that the future is still full of possibility and hope. The next card we are going to go into, or the next animal oracle, is the uh, firefly. And fireflies, for me, are one of the most magical insects. They look like fairies. You know, if you ever see them on a summer night, uh, they're just beautiful. They just float there. And they defy explanation. Um, so firefly could be coming up for you where you're starting to touch magic in your own life. You're starting to realize the possibilities that are available to you. But also fireflies illuminate the darkness. They resemble the stars. And so this could be a time when you're bringing light into dark places. The first card for the firefly is the Ace of Wands. 
And the Ace of Wands for me is a card of inspiration, ideas, uh, renewal. It's also a card of excitement. And like all magic wands in the fairy tale, you know, the Ace of Wands is indicating that you're being handed a magical opportunity, but you need to move quickly on it. All the magic spells that are made by magic wands in the fairy tale, you know, they have a time limit on them. It's like by midnight, Cinderella's got to make it all happen. Otherwise, everything reverts to what it was once before. And so too for you. I feel if you're attracted to Firefly, it's time to trust the magic. It's time to trust the light that you're bringing into the dark places. But it's also time to follow your inspiration, follow your instincts. You really are making positive new changes. The next card is going to be advice from your inner wisdom uh, this next week, and we get the Eight of Wands. So two Wands cards, how interesting. You know, Wands, they represent growth. They represent sometimes growing pains, going through shifting. Uh, but the Eight of Wands is also a card of like, move, 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 go with it. Uh, it's a card of action, activity, movement, uh, and possibility. And so the ace and the eight, there is this sense of urgency that's coming up here. It's like, take action, get moving on this now. But also, it's a very inspiring uh, couple of cards to get this next week. So this could be a time when you're really following your inspiration. And whatever was blocking you before or making you feel limited or scared or stuck, that's out of your way now. You can really focus on your goal, focus on what it is that you want to achieve. The mythic archetype that's going to help you this next week is the moon. And this card says emotion, instinct, and the wish to protect. And on the moon card, we see Artemis, the goddess who protects uh, the small animals in uh, Greek mythology. And Artemis could be coming up for you uh, this next week because she's indicating that this is a time for you uh, to be protective of what's vulnerable, uh, what's needed in your own life. Also, Artemis is that archetype of freedom. She leaves civilization. She goes off into the woods. Uh, she's often uh, the archetype of feminine power. And so this could be a time when you're independent, when you're moving in your own direction, when you're uh, allowing the wild and untamed parts of yourself uh, to feel free and to run under the moon. I just feel like this is a time as well to listen to your instincts when we see that lunar symbolism, especially when we have these wands cards. It's a time to listen to your instincts when it comes to growth, but also when it comes to actions that you could be taking. And then finally, the last animal we're going to go into is the frog. And the frog is so associated with that element of water. The frog is the rain caller. As it croaks, it brings down the rains, uh, so the myth goes. And so if you're attracted to frog, this might be a time when you're attuning to the cleansing power of water in your own life. Maybe you haven't been getting enough water. Maybe you need to drink more. Or maybe you need to let tears flow to release toxins from the body that have been settling there. But that element of water is going to be your best friend. So travel to little streams and uh, go into little woods and, and things like that where there's, uh, you know, babbling brooks if you can. Uh, or go to the shore, go to the ocean. But water is going to have a profound effect on you. First card uh, for the frog is where is the best place you're focused. And we get the four of wands. And the Four of Wands, a lot of wands this week for everybody. Uh, the Four of Wands has to do with socializing, connection, but also celebration. And the Four of Wands is telling you to celebrate your rites of passage, to celebrate the things that deserve to be celebrated in your life. Don't just breathe through, uh, breeze through your accomplishments and not stop to absorb or acknowledge them. So many times we finish something really important and we're like, yeah, big deal. What's the next thing? And you just kind of bulldoze through things. Four of Wands is about stopping and appreciating. You know what? I did that. That's really awesome. And maybe I just need to be present with that right now. It's also a card of socializing and connection. So if you've been feeling isolated or too much away from other people, or if your mood has been suffering, You've had a lot of anxiety, a lot of things that have been working you up. This Four of Wands is telling you to schedule a time to celebrate with other people that you care for. The advice from your inner wisdom this next week, uh, if you picked the frog, is the Seven of Swords, which is also a card of strategy. It's a card of outwitting obstacles, overcoming challenges. And I just kind of feel like one of the ways that you're going to outwit your obstacles this next week is by making connections. Maybe the obstacle in front of you can't be handled all by yourself. Maybe you're needing to band together with somebody else or seek some sort of support or advice or care uh, from someone who can help you with the issue that's in front of you. 
The Seven of Swords is also just a card of never giving up, never giving up hope, finding that way uh, to outwit or outsmart the obstacle that's in front of you. And I just kind of feel like it's like lighten up, uh, find the joy, but also outwit the obstacle, outsmart the thing that's getting thrown in the path. And then the mythic archetype that's going to help you this next week is Pegasus, uh, which the card says friendship, freedom, and the r wish to assist. It's very interesting. You know, we begun the oracle with Medusa and we end it with Pegasus. It was said that when uh, Medusa's head was cut off, out came her spirit in the form of Pegasus, the winged horse. And it's a sense of liberation, freedom. Uh, it's like once we cut the head off of our fears, well, then our poetic inspiration is allowed to fly free. Then we're allowed to follow our heart and we're no longer limited by those old uh, constraints. And I just feel like there's hope for you. It's like you're changing your fear into transcendence and action. You're changing uh, your worries or anxieties about feeling trapped or not having the uh, way around the obstacle in front of you. It's like you're transforming it into transcendence, into some sort of way to think higher, think above, look at it from that higher vantage point, much like Pegasus does. So I just kind of feel like there's some puzzles to solve, some problems to solve. And for every animal or Oracle. Boy, every tarot card this week was a minor arcana card. And minor arcana has to do with passing situations in the external world. Things that aren't, you know, the major inner uh, workings uh, that you really need to pay attention to, but instead the passing things in life that you're here to deal with. The things that are trying you, but also the things that you can persevere over. And that is this week's Oracle. I do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, you can always schedule a one-on-one -on -one tarot session with me on my website, elliotoracle.com. Also, I'd appreciate it if all of you could uh, put a little comment in the comment box with an emoji uh, or a thumbs up. And if you found this video useful, please do share it with a friend. Otherwise, I hope you all have a wonderful week, and I will see you again here next week like I see you every week. So do take care.